Good afternoon and happy Friday to all of your sunshiny faces. So guys, today we had our first little taste of volleyball. They had their first annual, um, what's it called? Their first annual blue-white game, which is the colors of our school, so that's why they call them the blue-white game. Um, and they've done it for football now, I think like maybe two years or three years or something, maybe even four, I'm not totally sure. It could have been longer than that, but I just know of the last few years. Um, and for football, what they would do is they just like, I think they'd have like the freshmen scrimmage each other and the JV and varsity scrimmaged each other or something like that. Um, and it was just like the offense against the defense. And so, um, I know they did it for football and we were able to watch it last year. And then they did it the first year this year for volleyball and it was the same thing. They called it blue white game and they ended up doing, I think, cause they just have JV. So it was like. JV versus JV, which they ended up, because I don't think they had 12, maybe they did, um, but I don't know if all the kids were there, so they ended up subbing in, like, a couple varsity players, and then they had the JV play the varsity, and then they had the varsity play the alumni, so it was actually pretty cool. They had a bunch of, uh, like, alumni players come out, and they had, like, the class of on the back of their jersey, and what class they played, um, or what year they played, so, like, they graduated. They had some that was from 2008 I know at least one and then 2009 there might have been a few and 2011 which um, Matthew was saying is the same year that the um, the the JV coach ended up graduating he was like I think it would have been 2011 because the majority of them were 2011 and then most of them were the, from the kids that graduated from last year so it's actually pretty cool so they had like kind of like a group of um like, you know, the alumni out there playing against the varsity, which they ended up playing three games and the varsity won all three. Um, and like my dad and the one uh, dad who was there was, was saying that like, you know, it's very different when you have like an actual team that a core group that you've been, you know, you have them play together and stuff like that. And then when you have like these just random kind of people playing kind of like a pickup volleyball game and, you know, like their communication and stuff like that wasn't totally like, you know, we honestly, though, they, the kids, I think, they didn't look totally, like, the best out there. Um, like, they looked like they were just a little, I don't want to say lazy, but it was a Friday. They had a half day today anyway, and then, you know, it wasn't a game that counted or anything like that. It was just, you know, like a fun skirmish, and the parents were invited to come out and watch and stuff like that. And so, like, you know, it was a good, they ended up, actually, the, the alumni ended up having, like, they were up like five points or something like that in the third game because they ended up the varsity won the two games and then they were like well we'll just do a third and like most of the kids ended up leaving or the JV team ended up leaving and most of the people were like gone by the last third game um but like a handful of them stuck around and then the the varsity team did because they had to clean up anyway afterwards so um yeah we ended up sticking around to stay for that so it was like they were like up and then they ended up we came back and won it um so yeah it was it was a pretty good like it was fun to get the first little taste of like a volleyball game but it wasn't really because like especially when like the jv or maybe the jv even too were they scrimmaging each or the varsity was scrimmaging each other see i don't think so but yeah, I was, like, good, like, it was hard because, like, you're rooting for, like, who do you root for, like, the alumni or, like, the varsity? We were rooting for the varsity, but, like, still, it wasn't like you could really, like, get behind them and stuff, like, like, I don't know, it was just, like, a fun scrimmage game, too, and then even, too, when the JV was playing the varsity, it's like, who do you root for, the JV or the varsity? You know, because they're, like, all the same, you know, they're, they're from the same school, you gotta root for them your school so um you know I mean they're like the kids that we were all rooting for all of their them were on the varsity team but still it's like you couldn't really pick a side and choose to root for one or not the other or something like that but yeah we ended up having that and then me and my dad went to the grocery stores and then I was gonna go to the grocery stores tomorrow because um the other three that I have to go to, but my dad has to work, and then Matthew was like, oh, Kayla, um, his girlfriend has a track meet that she's only competing one event in, and he wanted to go, that it's at eight o'clock in the morning, he was like, but I don't want to go by myself, he's like, it's at a different school, and like, I'm not sure, like, you know, where to go and stuff like that, so I was like, okay, like, I'll come with, I guess, so, um, I'm gonna go with tomorrow to that instead of going grocery shopping, because Matthew wouldn't have taken me anyway, so I was like, well, if I'm 
going anywhere tomorrow, I might as well just, like, get a chance to leave the house or something. Mm -hmm. Um, and just, you know, because what else am I going to do sleep in? Because, you know, I already have done that. So, um, yeah, I slept in. I didn't sleep in quite as late today, I guess, which was good, but, um... Yeah, I didn't get up as early as I wanted to, so I'm going to hopefully go to bed earlier so I can get up at 8 o'clock tomorrow, which I, um, yeah, I'm going to do that, and then there's something else. I thought there was something going on tomorrow. Oh, um, then the varsity coach is actually taking, I don't know if it's just the varsity students or also the JV students as well, um, they're taking them to go see a college volleyball game um, tomorrow. I don't know if they have to pay for it or if it's already like paid or what not, but, um, they're going to go watch a varsity or a, a college volleyball, uh, game tomorrow. So I thought that was pretty cool. Cause like, I don't know that the other coach had ever done that. And so I thought it was like one, a good bonding experience, like for them to go and kind of hang out and stuff like that and good team bonding. And then also too, so that they can go and watch like at a college level, um, you know, the, the sport and stuff like that and really get a good key, I think for, um, you know, playing, um, you know, at a, like, college level and stuff like that, and just to watching, like, you know, I'm sure she'll, like, point out, like, you know, the way they rotate on defense, or, you know, something like that, or, you know, it's very interesting, too, because I'm not super, like, I don't, I don't know, the thing, like, with basketball and with, you know, hockey a little bit, I feel like I know more, but, like, basketball and volleyball, I don't really know totally, like, a lot of, especially volleyball, though, but, like a lot of like what type of defense like you know you can run a specific defense like if two kids go up to block then you might pull one kid and you know that like but they have like different types of sets or like different types of like rotating and stuff like that when you know if you're going to go block a shot or if you're going to you know bump it or you know dig and like you know depending on like spacing on the floor and stuff like that it's all very you know like specific and stuff like that to make sure that like somebody doesn't pick that spot out and put the volleyball on you know on that side of the court because nobody's over there you know so it's like very um you know like very disciplined and stuff like that but I never really ever paid attention to that kind of stuff um totally and you know Matthew's brought it up a couple times and I've noticed it but I've never really like I don't know what it's called or anything like that um and even too on the rules and stuff but the one mom who is she her son's the same age as Matthew but um they only played together I think two years or maybe they only played together this freshman year and then he went up and played I think varsity his sophomore year or something like that which I know his mom said that, like, she was, like, originally didn't really want him to because she didn't really think he'd get a lot of playing time up at varsity. And last year, he was their only libero. And this year, him and Matthew are the libero. And so, like, Matthew plays, like, back row, too. He subs in for back row. So he does kind of libero, and he might be in, too. So they might both be in at the same time. At least that's what the rotations look like today. I don't know if that's how it's going to be. Um, but that was even what my dad pointed out. But, like, she was saying, like, he didn't get his sophomore year, I don't think, got as much playing time up at varsity as he would if he would have played on JV. And, um, that's what she, I remember her saying, something like that. But she coached her younger son, who I think is either a freshman or a sophomore this year, and he's playing JV because they don't have a freshman team, regardless of his age. He's playing on the JV team. And she said that she coached him, so she, like, knows a lot about volleyball. And so, like, especially Matthew's freshman year, we'd always ask her, like, oh, so, like, what's that mean? Or, like, you know, what did they do? Or, you know, something like that. Or, like, you know, what's an illegal shift or something like that, which is, like, if or a legal rotation I think is if one kid comes in and like you have to rotate in a certain order and like well, only certain kids can come out and like you know rotate in at certain times and stuff like that and so um you know like we had to ask her that one time and so we've learned a lot from her and she's very knowledgeable so it was very nice today too even that she's like sits with us and so she can tell us the stuff that you know goes on and everything like that but like with basketball too I even though I played basketball like I don't know we didn't really like it was park district and so it was a little chaotic but 
Like, I never really learned entirely, like, what type of defense that was or, like, what type of, you know, what type of offense, like, we ran and stuff like that. And, like, at a park district level, you can kind of get away with not really having, like, a, a set offense or a set defense or something like that. It's just, like, someone brings the ball up the court and, like, you might, like, pull somebody out to, like, get them the ball open or, you know, get open to get the ball or something like that or, you know, on defense you know, we'd have, we'd have a thing called, we just call it piranha, and if there was somebody in the lane, everybody would just flood the lane, because I don't even know, I don't think, like, you couldn't have, like, an illegal defense or anything like that, I don't think, but I just remember that was our call. We all just, like, flooded the lane, <laughs> pretty much, and so nobody could get in, and then even with hockey, too, like, I don't know that much, and I've kind of learned a little bit from, like, watching, like, the end the NHL and like even to like I said with basketball like watching basketball and hockey and stuff like that on TV like I've learned that kind of stuff but football I feel like I've always known that like I I'm still like not 100% on like you know what type of defense that like I know and I could probably pick it apart like if you gave me enough time but like my dad like immediately like just sees like a couple kids out there and he's like oh they're running that or whatever whereas for me it'd take me like I'd be like okay so I think they're playing like this or you know maybe that or something um you know or even on offense too like I can figure it out and like I know what like formations are and stuff like that and so I'm good with football I think because I've coached it for four years I'm still like you know, I'm not, like, like, I was doing conditioning and stuff like that, and I was just there to, you know, more be a discipline, <laughs> discipline person than really, like, you know, full-on be a coach of, like, a specific set um, of, you know, an offense or defense or something like that. But, you know, I, I've learned a lot of that kind of stuff, I think, more than more than even a handful of coaches that we've had I think in the past like I've learned more I think and maybe know more than them um and just like you know I don't know and like the same thing is this that like my dad always says is like if you see something that isn't working though you can change it but yeah anyways though but with volleyball I feel like it's like it's just, like, I have very, very little knowledge about, like, the type of defense they run or the type of offense, you know, and stuff like that. And, like, you know, I know, like, okay, the ball gets served over, the libero digs it, then the libero, set, you know, uh, tra gets it, passes it to the setter, the setter sets it for someone to spike the ball. Like, that's pretty much how an offense is run in almost everything. Sometimes you might have a little dink pass, sometimes you might have a block, you know, whatever. But that's more, like, I think defense more. Like I said, with defense, like, if somebody's going up to block it, like, you have to have people behind you to be able to, you know, in case the ball does get over your blocker, like, so that they can still return the ball and stuff like that, and so they don't get a point. And there's, like, and Matthew was even saying, too, like, the, the type of defense they run or something like that, or offense, I don't even know, is, like, some type of numbers, and I'm, like, I have no clue what that even is. Like, it almost sounded like football, like, defense. Like, okay, they run a 5-3 or something like that. Like, that's what Matthew was saying, and or it was like a 2-4-2 two, two or something. I don't even remember what it was. Or like a 2-3-2 two, two or something. And my dad was like, well, wait, how does that work? Because you only have six players out there and that would be seven or something like that. And like we were all really confused too or something. I don't even remember what he was saying. But yeah, I was like, okay, well, however it works. But just like volleyball, I'm very uneducated on, I think. And like I've been learning more. And I feel like hopefully this year now having um, this one lady <laughs> very knowledgeable in volleyball will hopefully help a lot more and um I will get up to date on my volleyball um you know like I said I know a lot of the calls and like the referee calls and stuff like that because I've learned that and picked that up over the years and I've learned like you know the different hand signals and stuff like that but still sometimes even too if they were like oh like you know I think illegal rotation or something like that is like this I think or something like that but sometimes I always have to like wind up asking and then they'll be like oh we heard that it was that or something like that or you know someone thinks that it was that or you know whatever but um yeah there was even a question today too that they brought up and uh my dad told the other dad that sitting next to us he was like oh well you can ask her she you know because she, she coached and everything like that but she coached like middle school or something like that which it's like you know still like you know, a pretty high level. It's not just like some little park district games and stuff like that. But I think maybe her sons went to private school or something like that. But um, she had three sons. All three of them played volleyball. So I was like, that's pretty cool that like, you know, she coached that. And now she knows enough that we'll be able to help us. So anyway, so guys, yeah, tomorrow, Matthew's actually first volleyball game though is on Wednesday. 
and his first tournament is this Saturday. So his first game is Wednesday, and it's his first home game as well. So we will be at home. I will hopefully record this coming Wednesday for you guys. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. Oh, that's the other thing that's going on too tomorrow is that tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day. And also um, the um, going to Matthew's girlfriend's track thing. And then he is going to the volleyball thing tomorrow. So there's a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. And then also on Sunday, I got to go to the grocery stores. There's something else I thought I had to do on Sunday. And now I'm not sure what it is. But anyway, so guys, I will see you all in tomorrow's vlog. If you guys did enjoy today's, make sure you guys give it a big old thumbs up. If you guys are new, we'd love if you'd subscribe. And I'll see all of your sunshiny faces tomorrow. So bye guys.